Alrighty, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Wondershare PDF Element Pro. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. It has a lot of features, which we're going to get into right now here in a bit. Well, you can download a free trial if you go to Wondershare.net and you click on the product section up here. And here it is right here, PDF Element for Windows or if you have a Mac. And they also have it for Android, which we're going to have to take a look soon. All right. Once you download it and install it, this is what it looks like here, guys. And I, I think it's fairly easy to use. You can create a PDF from an Excel spreadsheet, which is weird, a Word document, PowerPoint, or images. So you can actually create one. You can convert it. All right, you can convert your PDF to an editable Word, PowerPoint, or Excel file. Now, uh, what I want to do is convert it to a JPEG here in a bit. We'll do that. You can also do batch, perform multiple PDF conversions, data extraction, and more operations in bulk. So if you need to do a bunch of them at once, that's what the batch process is for. You can also combine multiple PDFs together and really cool PDF templates, which we'll get to here in a bit. Let's go ahead and click on convert. What I want to do is convert this allocated spending plan PDF to um, um, to something else. So we're going to go ahead and open it here. So select it wherever it might be and then hit open. It will open it up. Now, depending on how fast your computer is, uh, I have noticed that this software, this program, Wondershare PDF Element Pro, is kind of slow. I don't know if it's my laptop because it is one, an older laptop that's pretty slow. But uh, that's something I've noticed so far is that it's very slow. All right. Now we're going to save it as. So once you open it, it's going to reopen this window here. And you're going to right here where it says save as type. Click on the downward arrow. Now you can select to save it as whatever you want here. You can go all the way from Word 97 all the way to um, regular Word Docx, which is this is the most uh, recent one. I'm going to go ahead and select JPEG, JPEG or JPEG, one of the most common uh, image files. So I'm going to convert it to an image file. Um, I'm going to save it on the desktop and then click save. So a little window will pop up to start the conversion process. It'll pop up here in just a second. Like I said, this program is a little slow. It could be my laptop, guys. So if you guys test it out, if you guys download the free trial to test it out, let me know how fast it runs on your computer because I want to know if it's the program or it's the computer so I mean it's taking forever look at that and now guys it's actually crashing now this isn't the first time it crashes on me okay it crashed for a little while but it came back so that's good so it's not very stable I've noticed so anyway because we're using the trial version there is some restrictions we're gonna be able to do only five pages for each PDF and Limit for batch data extraction is only two files. Uh, I think there's going to be a watermark on it as well. So we're just going to go ahead and hit continue. We'll look at how much it costs after we're done here. So it's converting it right now from PDF to JPG. It shouldn't take too long. There it goes. Yeah, it's not taking that long. It's at 100% now. All right, cool. It's done. We're going to hit finish. Now let's go to the file and open it and see what it looks like all right guys so it took all three pages and put them into regular jpg files here let's go ahead and open them let's open up the first page i'm telling you windows 10 sucks guys windows 7 was the best operating system look at this it takes forever to open up these apps or whatever the heck windows 10 calls them look at that just to open up a picture i bet you if i right click and hit open with 
and paint. I bet paint will load faster than this piece of crap. Oh, there it is. I already loaded it. See how paint loaded it really quick? Let's stick with paint because it's a lot easier to use. All right, so there it is, guys. I located spending plan, and it looks just like the PDF. Go check it out. There's a watermark PDF element. So to take the watermark off, you have to buy it. Let's take a look at the second page. Right-click, open with. I have to do this because the regular window, the regular picture viewer is slow to start up. All right. So this is a budget PDF that I got from Dave Ramsey's class, Financial Peace University. But yeah, it looks nice. I converted it to image, but like I said, it does have that PDF element watermark. All right, let's go back to the program itself. Let's go ahead and take a look at the templates that they have. They have a bunch of template guys and a bunch of, I recommend you guys go through them all here. But uh, there was one in particular that caught my attention. That's a wedding budget. Because I am getting married pretty soon, hopefully. So this is one that caught my attention. Wedding budget chart. Now, when you click on it, to download it, you got to click on this. On this, I, I couldn't find it for a while, guys, but I found it. On the top right-hand corner here, in this little downward arrow, click on that, and that will download it. And it will bring it up on the program here. Sometimes it takes a while. Here it comes. Here it comes. Boom. There we are. Now, if you actually want to edit it, you got to click on the Edit tab up here on the top. And now you can add text. So you click on add text and then click right there. And now you can go ahead and start adding text. I recommend you make it bigger though. The font here on the right hand side is where you can make what you're writing bigger. Because right now the way it is, it's really, really tiny in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is super, super tiny. Now keep in mind my computer is kind of slow, so I went ahead and changed the font to 26. Man, this is not, this this isn't that good. Because you got to actually click in there to add text. And look, you got to, you have to actually guess what size it's going to be. It probably isn't an interactive PDF. But adding text this way is just ridiculous. So I don't, uh, unless you guys know how to, uh, how to do it better than that but that's the only way i could find guys to go to edit and add text but look look how big the uh the text is and on top of that it's very 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 extremely slow and I'm, all i'm doing is just opening up a dang pdf and writing some something down and i don't know why it's got to be so slow look at that we're clicking down here and it takes forever for the cursor to actually get there i'm hitting backspace to delete and it takes forever to delete okay so you gotta if you're gonna add some text you have to you have to guess what the font is going to be. Which is probably 16, I would say. I don't know. So there it is. That is how you edit it. I really don't like it. Like I said, it's kind of kind of weird. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it. I'm going to give this program a 2 out of 5 stars because it's slow. Uh, the edit. Ver the edit here is very very slow as well and uh, not very practical because you have to guess what font that's going to be and you got to click at a time where you're going to put the text all right guys that is pretty much it let's take a look and see how much it's going to cost to actually unlock all the features we're going to click on the buy now button here but uh it just froze on me it looks like but now it's now it's working now it's taking me to the uh microsoft edge which I really don't like. I don't like Edge. It's so slow. I don't know why they had to change it. All right, plans and pricing. Let's see what they got here. So, um, it's still loading here. So PDF Element Pro for one year. Seems like it's 99. It's still loading here. Okay, so they have a yearly plan and they have a perpetual license. So this PDF Element the regular version and then there's a pro with it which has a lot more features and there's 99 dollars for the pro and 69 dollars for the regular that is too expensive guys for a pdf for a pdf program and then how slow it is i wouldn't pay that right there so that's about it guys thanks for watching i'm going to give this program a two out of five stars because it's slow it's really hard to use it's not very user friendly and it's expensive guys i mean dang 
there's some free software out there that can do all this and you don't have to pay that much that is crazy thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll be making more videos so stay tuned for my next videos